Good morning, everybody. We're here on our way to Kale Wright's place, Melodic Farms. What happens when a horse founders is actually it's where the bones, the bottom bone, which would be the P3, uh, the third phalanx, it actually starts to rotate. And as it rotates, it comes through the bottom of the foot. So that's actually what happened to this mare. So what we're doing here is we have a horse here with serious uh, founder who's rotated really bad that we talked about earlier. The smell of it. I'm only gonna soften through here. We gotta put some frog pressure on that foot. Try to get it off that sole where that big pocket is. So I gotta try to put a heart bar, which is gonna be a bar that will go over on the frog. I'll try to put some more support on it and push it back up. It looks like the bone's pushing back up. Just all this abscessing in the front of the toe. That concerns me, I don't like. Pretty much uncharted territory for me. I've worked on foundered horses, but nothing this chronic, this chronically foundered. I've never had a horse slough its whole foot. Slough means where the foot capsule, actually the hoof capsule comes off, and then it resealed back together, and then it grew down a whole new foot. And these are just abscesses at the front of the toe. This is gonna put pressure on the horse's frog and help take it off that sole where it was all gouged out and looked horrible. Okay, let's come weld this, Cesar, right there. So virtually this is what the shoe's gonna look like. This is a reverse shoe. It's on backwards. And that way we can take the toe off here and back it up. And then it helps the horse kind of break over easily and then we can back all his toe wall. And it's got a heart bar to put some pressure up on the frog. So this is primarily what it's gonna look like when we get through with welding that other one. The heart bar, which is this, fits right over the frog, which is this right here, and it puts pressure on it. And the toe being open allows me to back that up and take some of that off. So we're gonna go ahead and nail this bad boy on here. She doesn't like the banging into her feet. Everything on a foundered horse is sensitive. So the less you have to bang, the better response you'll get from them. Right. Saving horses' lives, trying to keep them alive another day longer. We got the hard bar, the reverse open toed bar shoe with a hard bar in the center. You know, we got the bones going back up the right direction. Now it's just a matter of her, re everything reattaching. We'll keep you updated on how she's gonna go from here, but she's alive and walking better than she was. She couldn't walk six months ago. Now she's cruising around the barn, so she's doing better. Okay, so another day in the life with Coast to Coast Equestrian, sharing knowledge with you guys, experience and knowledge, and letting you guys have a little insight of what goes on in our day. All right, have a good one. We'll see you next time.